So when you're working with exponentials and logarithms, sometimes something a little bit weird is going to happen. You're going to get halfway down your working and you're going to see something that looks like this. It could be anything, but the key here is that we've got this e and it's being raised to the power of a natural log. e raised to the power of a natural log. What are we going to do about that? Well, before we look at this specific example, let's make it far simpler. Here's our way simpler example. We're just going to simplify e to the ln x. Simplify this first. I'm going to write it as a bit of an equation. So I'm going to say u equals e to the ln x. And then I'm just trying to figure out what u is equal to. So how can I do this? Well, let's write it in logarithmic form. So remember, this is something being raised to a power is equal to this thing. So to write that in logarithmic form, we take the log base of the base u equals ln x. We see that log base e is just ln. So we're left with ln u equals ln x. Now remember we were trying to find u here to begin with and if ln u equals ln x then we can only conclude that u must be equal to x. Now what we'll be doing again? We were simplifying e to the ln x. So I said that u is equal to e to the ln x and then I figured out that u is equal to x, which therefore means that e to the ln x is equal to x. This is pretty nice because we get to take something that's like well, pretty ugly, e raised to the power of a natural log, and write it just as x, as that value right there. Now, why does it work? Well, let's take a little look at a numerical example. Now, here's our numerical example. Simplify 2 to the power of log base 2, 8. Now, we already know from this previous example that if we have a base e raised to the power of its, its log base, the same base, x, then our answer is going to be x. So our answer over here, where we're raising 2 to the power of log base 2, 8, our answer should be 8. So, straight off the bat, I think my answer is 8, just by using this rule here. But let's see if that's true using a, a different method. Uh, 2 to the log base 2, 8. Now, log base 2, 8 means what could I raise 2 to the power of to get the number 8? And which means that this whole thing here just simplifies to be the power, to be 3. So log base 2, 8 is the same as 2 to the 3, which is equal to 8. So when it's numerical, you can get there just by simplifying the log. But when it's algebraic, you can't simplify the log, but you can still get there a much, much simpler way just by saying, well, the base is being raised to the same log with the same base, and so therefore my answer is just going to be 8. You can do it in a single step. Which, of course, brings us to our original example here. y equals 5e to the 2 ln x plus 3. Now, a bit of a problem here. We want e to be raised to a natural log, because if e is raised to a natural log, we can look at what the natural log is, and that's going to be our new, our new answer. Uh, it's being raised to a natural log, x plus 3, but it's got that 2 there. So I need to get rid of that 2, and the easiest way to do that is to put it into our log. So we'll have y equals 5e to the power of ln x plus 3 squared. Now we're really finished here because that now, this whole bit here, e to the ln x plus 3 squared, that follows this neat little, little bit here. e to the ln x equals just plain old x. Uh, which in this example, e to the ln x plus 3 squared means that all of this is just going to be equal to this bit right here. So 5 times x plus 3 squared. And just like that, the e's, the uh, natural logs, they all disappear. And this horrible thing, y equals 5e to the 2 ln x plus 3, just becomes 5 times x plus 3 squared. And now to put it in simple rule form, a log base ab is equal to b. The more specific rule, e to the ln x equals x. These are the two rules that are demonstrated with these three examples.